All right, class, welcome to our boiling water lab setup. Some of the materials that you're going to have, you're going to have a ring stand, you're going to have a thermometer clamp, you're also going to have a thermometer, obviously, this is one of your thermometers. They're made of glass and they have um, some chemicals in them. We don't want to break it, so we want to be very careful with them. They have these rubber stoppers, and I'll talk about what to do with that in a moment. You'll also be having a timer. You'll also be having a beaker tongs. You'll be getting a beaker. You will also be getting 100 milliliters of water. You can see where that 100 milliliters mark is, where it's at. And you'll be using a hot plate. Okay, so for As far as your lab setup goes, most of this will be done already for you when you come into the classroom. You're going to have your hot plate right, uh, right beside your rod at your designated table, and you're going to have the thermometer clamp attached and it's screwed tightly around the rod. You can change the height of the thermometer clamp by simply loosening the screw and, and moving it up and down. You can also tighten the thermometer clamp where the black rubber um, ends are by just screwing in the screw on that attached end. We're going to talk about that next. Next what you'll do is you'll need to get 100 milliliters of water and we'll put that on top. And we want to make sure this is in the off position. Then we need to set up our clamp for our thermometer. We want to make sure the red part is on the bottom and in the water but yet it needs to be that it is um, submerged but not touching the bottom of the glass. So we'll need to tweak that height a little bit. But what we want to do first is attach it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take our clamp and we're going to put it on so that it touches and holds on the rubber stopper. Do not put it on the glass. See how the rubber stopper is there? We'll tighten it here. not too tight because we don't want to break it within. So now it's holding. And then what we'll do is we'll set it. We'll put the clamp on and unscrew it. Let me show you what I'm doing here. And screw it so that it is loose and then I'll tighten it back in. And then you should be able to see that it is in there, but that it is not touching the glass. And so um, what you'll do is when the timer, when you start your timer, you're going to put it on high, which is the highest setting. And then you're going to calculate or you're going to document the time and then you're going to get the temperature in degrees Celsius, okay, not degrees Fahrenheit. And you could see which one you're measuring by on the thermometer when you're looking at the top of the thermometer. It will have it in degrees Fahrenheit on one side and then degrees Celsius on the other. We want to make sure that you measure with the correct degrees. And our question we want to make sure that we answer is, does it take more time to heat or to cool? With that, you can get started.